All right, as I promised, uh, I'm going to pull something here. We're going to do a little experiment. Got my Gojo. This is the Blue Gojo. Uh, from everything I have read today, after a conversation or two, I uh, found that unless it says pumice right here, then it probably don't have pumice in it. Uh, what we're going to do here with these machines is something that we do not want pumice because uh, the whole point of this is more or less an experiment to see just exactly what we can do with nothing but gojo and uh, not damage decals. Um, this machine here is a Davis or actually a Minnesota A that has uh, been sitting in the garage for a long time. It don't have real good decals on the bed. Uh, they don't appear to be anyway. We're going to see what they're going to look like after we clean them up. The only reason I'm doing this is just so we can kind of get an idea of what the machine kind of looks like before it started. This, uh, this red eye has been sitting in my shop under my lathe for a long time. Both these machines are partly stripped uh, for one reason or another. The red eye I'm not even going to worry about. You can see it is dirty. Very dirty machine. <laughs> I'm not supposed to be picking up anything heavier than a coffee cup, but I'm going to move these machines around a little bit. Uh, you can see the decals are right there. Here's what we're going to do. We're just going to get crazy with it. With the Gojo. I splattered myself in the face with it. Thanks to my wife for using a video camera here and uh, not getting on to me for slinging Gojo all over the kitchen. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit on the hand wheel over here just for the heck of it. Um, I can't see over there really good, but it really don't matter because it's not that part of the machine that we're all that concerned about. It's mainly the painted parts. Um, I am going to... I'm, I'm learning just like anybody else that's going to be watching this video. Uh, I have not done this before other than use Gojo sparingly on the machines to clean them up. So, and it has worked very, very well and I have never yet had a problem with decals. I'm not going to say we may, we may eat the decals right off of this machine. Thank you. Uh, but the reason I'm using a Davis or a Minnesota, which is made by Davis, is uh, it's been my experience that Davis decals are not near as resilient. What you got? Thank you. Davis decals are not near as resilient as Singer's red eye decals. Red eye decals, you just about can't beat them off with a jackhammer. So we're going to see what this nasty little. This machine is about the condition of what you're going to find in a lot of yard sales, been drug out of basements, things like that. Um, so this is going to get us a real good idea of what can, what can happen with just some real quick work here. Um, I can already see this singer brightening up. <laughs> and... Uh, we ain't even done nothing except just putting the gojo to it. Um, like I said, this this is going to be a pretty good example of a red eye or a lotus or a uh, even a Memphis that you find in a yard sale. Or I ain't going to worry about that up there because that don't need to be. Okay. Um, I'm going to let this set for a little bit, and let's see, does it look like I've got about everything, babe? Mm -hmm. All right. You can see it's already dripping. As I said in a post I made the other day, I noticed that with the Gojo, you rub that stuff on there and it'll start dripping off like hot butter here in a little bit, and all right, right now it is 931. Can you see that? <laughs> All right. The only reason I'm doing that is so 
nobody gets an idea that I have left this on here all night or done something uh, underhanded <laughs> to make it look like we've done something. So uh, we'll let this set for a little bit and we'll be continue the video here shortly. Thank you. Hey, it looks like what 9:52. <laughs> You see it? All right. So it looks like we've been about 20-ish minutes. Uh, as I had said before, in one of the posts, this stuff is just dripping off like butter, melting off of these machines. I don't worry about the red eye yet. I'm going to do a little wiping on this Minnesota. Let's see what we got. say Minnesota what we got going on here we got a lot of the clear coat or that's dirt maybe I don't know I did not damage decals don't look like I'm gonna rub the crap out of it just to see looks like maybe silver in a little bit but we did leave it on there 20 minutes and I don't think it's the fact that we left it on there any specific amount of time i think what we've got going on here is typical davis decals that are not very resilient i don't think they could have uh, done anything uh, that wouldn't have what i'm saying is is i think the decals were already in about this bad a condition before i put any gojo on them So, anyway, so we're looking there at what we got. Clean. But, uh, like I said, typical Davis. You're not going to have decals that probably survive very well to begin with. Uh, now, to the red eye. You can already tell. By looking at it, it has made quite a bit of difference in this machine that has set in the floor in a shop under a metal lathe collecting oil, mist, humidity. It's been sitting there, I know, four years, I think, in the floor of that shop. And it has been through a lot of cold days, warm days. Since we live in the jungles of West Kentucky, uh, humidity is a bad problem here. This machine shouldn't have any paint on it uh, sitting out there like it did, like, as long as it has. Let me get a clean rag here because we're going to start getting, as you can tell, I am not silvered any decals. Um, I'm actually very impressed with the way this machine looks now as opposed to what look at that those decals were so black you couldn't even hardly see those when I put the gojo on it a while ago <laughs> what you got okay turn it over this way a minute And as you can probably tell, I am not being careful. I'm being pretty rough with this machine. I'm not going to tell you to go buy a rare machine in the 1880s and get rough with it like this with Gojo. But I, what I'm saying, what I wanted to prove with this video, what we're doing is that these machines that you see yard sales thrift stores a lot of them that i'm seeing posted on the groups people asking is it worth it will it clean up maybe this will give you a good idea of what you can do with 20 minutes and a little bucket of gojo <laughs> um, 
I don't know. I can't tell whether the machine looks any different. Still looks like an old singer, don't it? <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what. I will... I will stop right here. Will might give me about a few minutes and I will do something else. Do one more short video if Sherry don't care. And uh, okay, we'll go ahead and stop right here and be right back shortly. All right, last part of the video here. I'm going to do something here real quick. This is 3M One Step Finish Restore Wax. Normally I use Mother's Carnoba. Brazilian Carnova cleaner wax on these machines. This here, uh, I do like the way it does because of what I can get in just a minute. Uh, I'm not going to polish on the whole machine. I'm just going to do a little bit real quick on where I just cleaned with the uh, uh, Gojo. There again, as you can tell, I am not being gentle with these decals at all. Um, one thing nice about Gojo is it's uh, it works very well cleaning off not only petroleum-based uh, mineral um, uh, mineral oil-based stuff whatever uh, it's also real good on protein based I'll let this dry just a second I'm not gonna let I'm not gonna worry with it too much drying because it's just an old machine that's probably never gonna be done anything with after this video unless somebody sees it on the group and says hey I want that machine um, let's see what we can get right here real quick with a normally I'd let that wax dry longer than that but for the sake of keeping this video kind of short Sherry needs to go to bed she's got a long drive ahead of her so <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and call this good like I said this was after a a lot of discussion and everything on the group about using Gojo. All right, that's what we got. That's what we got from a machine that sat in the shop collecting dust and oil for good four years and 20 minutes of sitting with Gojo on it. I see probably a little bit of silver in right here, but I'm not. I'm going to say that that was probably already that way. Because this machine has been in, yeah, see we had the same thing over here. Um, this machine, if it had better decals on it to begin with, it would have looked a lot better. Uh, there again, we didn't, weren't totally successful with the Minnesota, but I kind of expected that to begin with because, like I said, Davis doesn't have that great of decals. I believe I could probably work for... An hour or so get this dead clear coat off of that machine and uh, but not gonna worry about it anyway purpose of the video was do what we just did and uh, thank y'all for watching